Hi everyone, this is the seventh video of our series called Essential Skills for Mechanical Engineers. In this video, we are going to talk about drone design. Drones are formally known as unmanned aerial vehicles or unmanned aircraft systems. Essentially, a drone is a flying robot that can be remotely controlled or fly autonomously using software controlled flight plans in its embedded systems that work in conjunction with onboard sensors and global positioning system. Simply, drones are airborne system or an aircraft operated remotely by a human operator or autonomously by an onboard computer. There are various fields where drones are proving to be quite useful. One of the main advantages of a drone is that they are airborne, small, and can be operated relatively easily. Since they offer six degrees of freedom, drones are better placed to maneuver in remote places and at locations which are otherwise inaccessible. Let us look at a few instances where drones are useful. Weather forecasting. Drones are extremely useful in keeping an eye on developing weather conditions in real time and supply remote imagery and storm data to assist with life-saving measures. In countries like India, where monsoons are becoming increasingly unpredictable, they can help protect loss of life and property damage with advanced warning. Next is farming. Drones are an inexpensive way of surveying large farmland areas. Fitted with proper sensors, they can accurately capture crop data that farmers can use to increase their harvest. Military Since they are unmanned and small, drones are playing an increasingly crucial role in protecting hostile borders by providing real-time images of enemy movements. Since they are relatively unaffected by harsh climatic conditions, drones are safe and effective way for providing military intelligence. Medical aid Drones are one of the easiest ways of providing emergency medical aid to standard people. Suppose there is a flood and there is an urgent need to provide medicines across a river. Drones can handle this task very easily. Next is to monitor offshore oil rigs. Offshore mining of black gold is an engineering marvel. Drones monitor the oil rig platform, especially near the water surface, where manual inspection can prove to be extremely dangerous. Scientific surveying. UAVs can aid scientists and archaeologists in surveying intractable terrain. Antarctica, Siberia the arid deserts of Middle East and the dense forests of some rainforests are extremely inhospitable and almost uninhabitable. The use of drones has made monitoring them a comparatively easy task for scientists and geologists. As drone technology gets more sophisticated, they will find more uses in delivering packages, measuring air quality, photographing deep sea water fish and so on. Drones are increasingly being used in news broadcasting, filmmaking and other walks of life. And also, since basic drones are quite affordable, they are proving quite popular with people who use it for recreational purpose. Drone racing is also getting popular with youngsters. Drones can be classified in various ways based on the blades they have based on their use, based on, on their size, based on their readiness to be airborne etc. Most commonly, they are classified based on their blades, such as single rotor drones. These are one of the most basic types of drones. More like unmanned helicopters, they have a single main rotor and an anti-torque device. They can generate thrust much more efficiently than multi-rotor drones and are particularly suited for long flight times. Next is multi-rotor drones. These drones may have three rotors, four rotors, six rotors or eight rotors. Multi-rotor drones are most popular drones with professionals and hobbies. 
they are used for aerial photography video surveillance etc they typically have low payload capacity fixed wing drones as the name implies these have fixed wings like the traditional aeroplane they don't have any vertical takeoff ability and cannot hover however since they only need energy to propel forward and not hover they are very energy efficient and faster moving than rotating drones the final one is hybrid drones hybrid models combine fixed wing drones with vertical lift rotors they have the ability to take off vertically and then move forward with the help of fixed wings this makes them versatile and ideal for commercial applications flying a drone may be fun but designing them is a real engineering challenge drone design requires integration of many engineering branches such as solid mechanics fluid mechanics applied mathematics control systems automation and data analysis the design of drone primarily depends on its ultimate use concept generation for a drone involves the initial level of design study and development of the drone structure it can range from configurations that includes fixed wing drones with multi rotors adaptive wing etc and include both remotely pilot and autonomous modes of operation the requirement for drones that do surveillance are different from drones that are used for video shooting and drones that are used to deliver parcels have different requirement than drones that are used for amateur racing as a result there are many classes of unmanned air vehicles in existence and many types within each class developed by various manufacturers many of today's drones are capable of carrying some form of payload in addition to this most drones carry some sort of sensors and relaying this sensor information to the ground is one of the primary purposes of drones now let us talk about the things you need to know in order to become a successful drone design engineer or a uav engineer first is the knowledge of components of a drone drones have a large number of components including electronic speed controllers flight controller gps module battery antenna receiver cameras sensors accelerometers altimeters etc the type of each component to be used depends upon the purpose and desired capabilities of the drone next is features of a drone drone features vary based on the use it is put to examples of features include various types of cameras with high performance zoom and gimbal steady cam and tilt capabilities artificial intelligence that enables the drone to follow objects augmented reality features that superimpose virtual objects on the drone's camera feed media storage format maximum flight time which determines how long the drone can remain in the air maximum speed including ascent and descent hover accuracy obstacle sensory range altitude hold which keeps the drone at a fixed altitude live video feed and flight log the third important skill is the knowledge of fluid dynamics fluid mechanics is the study of fluids and how forces affect them fluid dynamics is one of the two branches of fluid mechanics that studies the motion of fluids both gaseous and liquid Engineers can create energy efficient drone designs that optimize airflow by making smaller choices on the form, speed and material of the designs. Energy is required to move objects through fluids. For example, a ship sailing in the sea. To improve aerodynamics and use less energy, 
engineers need to work on reducing the drag coefficient. The drag coefficient is a number that is used to model all of the complex dependencies of shape, weight and flow conditions of a drone. As discussed in the previous video, computational fluid dynamic simulation can help engineers optimize designs by helping them to better understand how the design will interact with fluids. Drones fly through air and their aerodynamics matters a lot in their performance. Their range and endurance depends much on the structure and shape of the propeller. CFD simulation of drones is therefore necessary to optimize this design. Next is control system for flight controller. Drones are controlled by a flight controller. It can be considered as the brain of the drone. A flight controller consists of an electronic circuit board and a variety of sensors that detect the movement of the drone. Primary among them are gyroscopes and accelerometer. The electronic gadgetry sees to it that the drone responds to the user commands which includes altitude, speed and direction. A properly designed controller helps the drone operator with smoother movements and stability. Multi-body dynamics Drones are controlled by changing the rotation rate of one or more rotor discs in order to change its torque load and thrust. Multi-body dynamics is the analysis of such mechanisms that consist of interconnected rigid and deformable components. The dynamics of these large-scale multibody systems are highly non-linear and require numerical solutions that are possible using computer-based techniques. A multibody dynamic simulation helps in getting insights about the dynamics of the drone. Embedded systems Drones are typically unstable dynamic systems. Embedded systems are used to pilot them using sensor data from the drone that includes position, orientation and any other sensor essential for the successful completion of the task that it is supposed to perform. Motor systems Motors are what provide thrust power to a drone. Motor design includes pre-design and detailed analysis of the motor system. The pre-design of a motor is carried out by evaluating the machine design by choosing topology, binding architecture, coil composition, material, air gap, etc. And of course, the size of motor depends on the drone frame size and the thrust to weight ratio. The torque, speed, Current generated and magnetic flux of a drone motor is determined by detailed electromagnetic analysis. Design analysis Drones include advanced technology and their production cuts across several engineering disciplines that include mechanical, aeronautical, system control, electrical engineers and computer software. Drone design analysis begins with pre-processing, structural analysis, aerodynamic and stability analysis to evaluating various dynamic what-if scenarios. After the CAD files of the initial design are available, engineers take it for detailed validation. During the structural analysis phase, the drone structure is subjected to various forms of operational loading. Understanding the structural performance is the key to take the design development forward. The various dynamic scenarios carefully analyze the effects of adverse flight conditions as well as probable human error in handling the drone. The drone material is typically composite and even that needs to be modeled layer by layer using laminate modeling approach. Finally, the knowledge of design software. 
since drones are subject to highly volatile conditions like temperature fluctuations in pressure wind currents etc it is not feasible to provide proper simulation solutions using simple mathematical tools finite element analysis and cfd is useful for such problems that involve complicated geometries loads and material properties where analytical solutions cannot be obtained as discussed in the previous video cfd is the analysis of fluid flows using numerical solution method using cfd engineers are able to analyze complex problems involving fluid 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 solid and fluid gas interaction the aerodynamic loads on the drone rotors are calculated using cfd tools while there are many softwares available in india and elsewhere for drone design simulation software like inspire hypermesh optistruct fea radios multi scale designer accusol activate motion solve and embed are preferred by drone design companies for their reliability and efficacy at upschool we have expert mentors who train these skills and help you get into your dream job thanks for watching this video see you in the next one